What country would you pick to stay in if you had to for the rest of your life? Oh, that's a really interesting question. I, off the top of my head, I actually might say Vietnam. Okay. Um, because I, I mean, I, I wasn't planning to stay here for so long. I figured maybe two or three years, but um, and I and I came here with no real purpose other than I was curious and. I didn't, I've never, never been here before, I didn't know anybody here, and I didn't speak the language, so I was just like, this seems like a fun place to live. I knew it was, I did a little bit of research, I knew it was a sort of dynamic, um, fast-changing city, and, um, and there were opportunities for me to do work here um, as an English and a literature teacher. But the reason I, ch I say Vietnam, Abe, is I find that the people are really friendly, I find that how livable the city is, in Saigon in particular, is, um, it's not for everybody. It can be a little bit chaotic, but I kind of embrace that. <clears throat> and um, I think more than anything, there's a sense of freedom here that I maybe wouldn't or haven't enjoyed in other places, um, both economically, personally. Um, I feel like I can kind of spread my wings. I don't know if that makes sense. If you can relate to that? I mean, th there's a reason why I've been here for as long as I have as well. is because it does feel free in a way that I think it's even difficult to explain. I agree with that. I think it's quite a little bit difficult to put my finger on. I mean, one thing I can definitely say is a tangible thing is like my earning capacity here mm -hmm. versus cost of living is, um, is beneficial for me. Um, so that's one thing. And then just, you know, the, the culture, the people, I vibe with it, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, there's places nearby which I like to travel to. So overall, I think I, I might choose Vietnam, actually. And, okay. I've, and I've actually considered that, like, investing personally long-term here. Yeah.